Welcome to the start of this series, where we will be taking a once in a lifetime journey through some of the most breathtaking countries in South America. This week, we start in Lima, Peru. and 30 minutes from the UK by direct flight is the country of Peru found on the western side of South America. The Spanish conquered the region in the 16th century and established a vice royalty which encompassed most of its South American colonies. Peru gained independence in 1824 and enjoyed relative economic and political stability. Today, the country has around 32 million people, plus the odd 23 travelers here on a three-week mission to discover this amazing continent. We started our tour here at the Mercado, or market, and were given a taste of what Peruvians buy and eat. Not all the items on show seem very appealing. But Peruvian markets are lively places of commerce and have some delicious and cheap food. For a bite to eat or some groceries or just to check out the vibrant and chaotic scenes. Something we would get used to while traveling around this part of the country. The market had a myriad of choices on offer from freshly hung chickens to tongue and other assorted bodily parts that most would probably turn away from. Yet we eat basically the same foodstuff here. So after gorging our eyes on the delicacies, it was time to trot on to our next destination. Lima is home to many fine religious buildings, but the San Francisco Monastery is one of the best, providing an oasis of calm in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the city. Preserved Baroque architecture, gilded altars and religious art, and not forgetting to mention the crypt, now home to thousands of skulls and assorted bones. Today, Lima's old train station was renamed to Casa de la Literatura, House of the Peruvian Literature, and houses a cultural centre and a library. The main reason for us being here, however, was not to go searching for books, but to visit Cordona, a bar in the centre, and taste the famous Pisco Sour, a traditional Peruvian drink made of its base liquor and the cocktail term sour, in reference to sour citrus juice and sweetener components. The Peruvian Pisco Sour uses Peruvian Pisco as the base liquor and adds freshly squeezed lime juice, syrup, ice, egg white to create this popular drink. Plaza de Armas, also known as the Plaza Mayor, sits at the heart of Lima's historic centre, one of the few remaining parts of the city that still gives a sense of the city's colonial past. Acknowledged for its historical and cultural significance by being awarded a UNESCO World Heritage status in 1988, this is the spot where Francisco Pizarro founded the city in 1535. A colonial fountain serves as the square centerpiece, while some of Lima's most important buildings surround the historic plaza. The 
Palacio de Gobierno, official home to Peru's president, is on the northern side of the square, and to the southeast lies the Cathedral de Lima, the final resting place of Pizarro himself, and built on the plot of Lima's first church. Many of Lima's once grand colonial mansions have fallen into a sad state of disrepair. Others, however, have been lovingly preserved and complete with furnishings and personal effects from their original owners. Most are open to the public by appointment or through tour agencies, but history buffs and interior designers will find the extra pre-planning worthwhile. The one we were taken to was the Casa de Aliaga, a block north of the Plaza de Armas, which was the former residence of Geronimo de Aliaga, one of Pizarro's conquistadors, and now the oldest house in the Americas. Miraflores is one of Lima's most upscale districts, chock full of fancy bars, stylish restaurants and a fine selection of designer and other upmarket stores. La Comar is the shopping centre in Miraflores, located on the top of a reef with breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean. Also along the coastal cliffs is where you'll find El Malacón, the city's seafront strip, with the picturesque Parque de la Mor, a love park, containing modern sculptures, colourful mosaics and couples relaxing on its grassy lawns. You can stroll along El Malacón for spectacular sea views or hire a bicycle to cruise along the coastal cycle paths. Coming up next time on our South American adventure. We head south and visit the Sacred Valley and enjoy the spectacular colours of this fascinating country and people.